Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to quickly go over how to compress your ROM files on Android. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, the whole purpose of this video is to help you free up some phone space. When you're using emulators like EtherSX2, game files can be very large and it doesn't take very many at all to really eat into your phone storage space. Hopefully this video will help you out. I recommend picking up Z-Archive or Z-Archiver, I guess if you're in the States, from the Google Play Store. It's a free app and it's amazing. Once you've got Z-Archiver on your phone, open it up and navigate to the folder where you keep your game files. From here, click the game that you want to reduce the file size of, and then from this menu, click Compress. From here, click on Archive Format and change it to GZIP. From here, you have a couple different options. By default, the compression level is set to Fast. For maximum compression, you can crank this right up to ultra, but it will take a little bit more time to compress the file. On top of that here, there's an optional checkbox that says delete source file after compression. So if you want to remove the original ROM altogether after it's done compressing, just check this box. When you're ready to go, click OK and it'll start compressing your file. For comparison's sake here, just using the fast compress method, we've gone from 213 megabytes down to 166 in that gzip file. If you use the ultra compression method, you'd get down to about 162 megs, which is about the same as a .chd. And another comparison here, just for those people who are saying, no, that's not really a lot of savings. Well, here's Gran Turismo 4. I've saved 540 megabytes just by doing a fast compress. If I did an ultra compress here, I'd be saving even more space. It really adds up quickly. Once you're done compressing, open up EtherSX2 and it should automatically recognize your games. EtherSX2 works absolutely fine with GZIP and I noticed no performance issues whatsoever. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Short, sweet, and to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Hopefully it was helpful for you and hopefully you were able to save some space on your phone. If it was, let me know in the comments below how much space you actually saved. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.